Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 25th episode of Noobs to Pros. I'm AJ, and today we will be talking about how to play the Lorraine 40T effectively. Now, auto loaders are a very different breed from other tanks that you play in World of Tanks. Um, the auto loader that taught me how to play um, tanks really well was the AMX 5100. Um, if you haven't gotten yourself one, you should get yourself that tank and you will hate that tank initially but then you'll figure out how to play it and that's what sort of like taught me how to play auto loaders. Lorraine gets a very bad reputation because in most people's eyes it is like the AMX 5100, just a tier higher. My biggest complaint with the AMX 5100 was that it did not have the mobility. Everything else about that tank I love, I adore that tank, I still own that tank. Um, the only thing I hated was that it wasn't fast enough for its own good. Uh, it could not get into um, positions quick enough for um, for its gun to count. Lorraine sort of like fixes that issue with uh, the MX5100 by being really fast. This tank right now as I'm playing this game is on its stock engine so it's not actually fully upgraded yet. Even then it can easily reach its top speed. Now on this map, Erlenberg, um, what I like to do is go to this corner around the castle and see if there's any tanks coming up that I can take, you know, maybe pot shots at. And oh look, another Lorraine trying to get uh, into position. I take a shot at him and you know, and back off because, you know, and there's nothing else to do. And I don't want to get already to death um, because like all French, good French tanks, uh, Lorraine has no armor whatsoever. So over here, I see the IS-3 has come to this corner. He sees a juicy Lorraine. The other Lorraine comes out, starts to tries to take shots at me. You know, I put two into him. He puts two into me. But you know, the amount of fire that came in his direction, he probably thought that he was going to lose his life a lot faster than I would. So he just backs off. Now this will come to bite the Lorraine um, in in the end and his end. Over here the IC comes forward puts one shot into me. I make sure that I put three shots for his one because he can reload in 10 seconds and you know why not. Um, the first mistake that people make when they're playing auto loaders is you know when somebody comes around the corner and fires at them once they just like or oh my god I lost my health I should back off. No you should make that exchange count if he's by himself put X amount of shots for his reload and then just back off. In case of let's say I was driving the 54E1, I would have put all four shots into him before he could have done anything because that tank fires at a mind-boggling two and a half I think rounds uh, in between shots and it has four shots. So I come over here I see the Lorraine sort of like is backing off. He gets picked off by the E75. Now the IS-3 backs off as well and I know the only other tank that hasn't been uh, spotted apart from the RD is the Yak Panther 2 which was in front of me not that long ago so the, all the other tanks on the enemy team went the other way so I just wait for my KV4 to come up um, you know so you know he can tank some of the damage Lorraine you should not um, bank on the armor to count um, I have all six shots loaded I try to crest this hill you know and you know being ready to just back off i spot the yak panther too i probably like proxy lit him or maybe the three before saw him but i see an opportunity in which like the is3 is just sitting behind him and they, uh, one track count the other one tracks him uh put uh third one into him and the fourth one finishes him off now at this point i kind of like uh see the zero line and know that flank is gonna fall so what I do is I preemptively reload most of my shells and I start making my way towards that flank. Now over here I stop uh, to see if I have shots on the T-34. Um, I, in hindsight I don't know whether I should have or shouldn't have. I should have maybe just gone to a better position because I you know, kind of like realized that the other tanks that were going down uh, towards the enemy's cap probably had better shots at the T-34. So I'm just trying come out here fishing for shots on on this tank that is by himself um, I come forward I don't get you know I don't see any shots from where I'm sitting so I slowly move further and further until I finally find uh, this little opening between uh, these buildings in which I can get a shot on the T-34 um, you know I see his outline 
and I put one into him. Put another one into him, but sadly he turns the story in our direction and I bounce, and so I turn around, and now um, I go back to uh, the flank because you know he was about to be taken out anyways. Now along the way, uh, I spot in the Pershing, and that tank I should not have stopped to take shots on. I, I think that I had never had good shots on that tank to begin with, and just stopping there just probably, um, you know, caused the death of the poor uh, T twenty prototype who uh, bravely tries to defend that flank by himself. Um, so I mean, this right here I should not have done. I did not have clear shots, and Lorraine does not have that good of an accuracy to be uh, firing at something that's not you know totally within your reticle so I start moving forward totally forgetting to see where I'm going and I guess you can see where this is going yep I run into a house I did not know that was there I in my defense you know <laughs> so I start moving forward you know I am trying to get into a position to fire on this uh, side you too um, I think I have enough penetration to go for a Tiger 2 appropriately, but then he's kind of angled and it's kind of like this too, so um, I'm not hitting it flush and it's you know, bouncing and bouncing and I try to take shots at his third, but the running isn't that accurate to do sniping at long range. Um, so what I do is I reload um, the gun again and what I'm gonna try to do here, um, you know, fairly shortly, is I know there's a T-34 behind me and I'm gonna come over here to these bushes and I'm gonna come up um, to, through them gently I don't have success or I don't know when I'm spotted and try to try try to uh, spot the Tiger 2 now the Tiger 2 in my opinion could be in one of two positions either he could be sandwiched in between those buildings or he is somewhere along there um, both of which you know uh, positions um, I have easy shots from um, so I'm just gonna gently come through this bush, um, you know, hopefully we are not spotted, you know, keeping fingers crossed, and try to spot the Tiger 2. The Tiger 2 makes a mistake in which, like, he has no backup, yet he comes over through our side of the cab, which makes him extremely vulnerable to any fire that he's gonna take. Now the T-34 uh, puts one juicy shot into him. As soon as I'm reloaded, I'm gonna go after the Tiger 2. Uh, and it's because, you know, I can take one shot from him, but in this, that short span, I can probably put three shells into him and he just needs one or two. So I go all the way to the other side of the building. He turns around thinking I'm going to come in from that direction. And I go back to where I'm starting. I put one shot into him and the second shot finishes him off. And luckily he just, you know, fires into my tracks and does nothing. Now I'm slowly moving towards uh, the enemy's cap because I know our team needs some help. Um, and uh, over here I see the IS-6 um, slowly moving down towards it or I don't know what he was doing. I, he was sitting on that hill. Uh, I think he has in, he had intentions of going there but he was kind of like, I was like, ah, maybe I should. Um, so I put one shot in the IS-6, second shot in the IS-6. Uh, mind you, this is APCR and I'm still bouncing. Um, that's how it goes in the IS-6. Um, third shot finally goes in, and my last shot um, just tracks him in his place. And I start to go forward, but then I kind of like realize that, you know, the uh, best course of action for me would not be a frontal assault because I don't really have that much health anymore. So instead, what I decide on doing is that I'm gonna turn around and flank him from the other side. Now, this is a very key thing to learn on your mediums is when you exploit an opening on which there's very few tanks and you know you can deal with them relatively easily um, and get around the enemy that is what your main job is you should never be brawling with heavy tanks because chances are at you know higher tiers um, and even on lower tiers the heavy tanks like the KV-1S can have good frontal armor um, can bounce shots from your gun relatively easily but you can't um, so you are probably going to be losing out on that exchange and same goes in tier 10s you should not be uh, frontally facing a mouse. A uh, mouse will probably bounce most of his most of your shells if he knows what he's doing. Uh, so I come around, you know, I know that the rest of my tanks uh, on my team are going through the middle, so we'll have two different firing angles on the enemy team. Now uh, this will be fairly straightforward. I come over here, I fire 
Uh, I empty my clip into the two RDs first, and then I put the rest of my shots into the IS-6 for some reason decides to um, just charge at me. I don't know why. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, subscribe or leave a comment uh, in case you saw something that I couldn't improve upon. Uh, obviously, I'm not perfect at the game. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next episode of the next episode.